couple of years ago I did uh, I came here, I did a vlog uh, called It's Not About the Beer and uh, came here with a D800 2000 pound camera, a uh, 1000 pound lens and I brought a, a entry level camera, uh, 10xD KX and uh, a couple of kit lenses and I did uh, some photography from the spot and I got some really good uh, images that I'm really happy with. So I decided to come back here today with the mobile phone. Um, uh, specifically shoot some waterfalls because there is <laughs> there is one elephant in the room when it comes to shooting with a mobile with a mobile phone. And that is you only actually have got control of two elements of the exposure triangle. You can control your ISO, you can control your shutter speed, but you have absolutely no control over your exposure. Mobile phones are usually set really wide open. The Huawei P30 Pro, I think it's 1.6, 1.8, something in there. That is that is about as wide as you can possibly get. And when you're shooting moving water, you like to elongate that exposure, try and get a little bit of energy into the water, smooth it out a little bit. And on a sunny day like today, it's going to be a really big challenge. Now, I've got a couple of filters for the mobile phone. I've got a three-stop filter, and I've got a two-stop ND grad, that I might be able to pull down right all over the lens, uh, and that in turn will give me possibly five stops of light. But at 1.6, 1 1.8 on a day like today, uh, it is going to be it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So let's get set up. Uh, the sun's coming and going. Uh, it's catching parts of the waterfall. It's uh, glinting off some of the fluorescent moss coming and going. So we're just going to set up, sit for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, and uh, let's see what way the sun uh, hooks through the clouds, and hopefully. Hopefully, we can get some decent images. So, as you can see, we've got uh, two little waterfalls, two little cascades here. And uh, the sun is shining on one of them. Uh, it's a little bit darker on the, on the left-hand side. Uh, we're in manual focus. We're on the ISO. It's changing. Let's get this down to ISO 50. Come on. ISO 50. Bit of a struggle. Manual focus. The shutter speed is 1 116th of a second, which is too fast. Too fast. So. We're going to take this photograph anyway, but focus here. I'm really just going to focus back here. Now, I know that's too fast. Um, there's no getting away from it. Um, we're going to get the filters on. I say a three stop filter and an ND grab. I'm going to try and use the said the ND grad as an additional filter, pull it right down over the lens, hopefully get five stops. Let's get a little bit of smoothness into that into that uh, into that water, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. As I say, there's nothing I can do. I can't I can't uh, I can't uh, shut close down the uh, the aperture. Uh, we're wide open. We're 1.6, and unfortunately, that's all we can do. So we got the filters on. Funny enough, just as soon as I got them on, it all darkened down a little bit, so it might be just a little bit too strong. Um, but if push comes to shove, at least I know I've got that correctly exposed photograph. And if I have to, I'll, I'll take the you know, second one that's got the smooth water, just blend it through it just a little bit, uh, just, to get, just to give a little bit of energy, a little, a little bit of uh, dynamism, <laughs> dynamism uh, to that water. Sorry, I do struggle with that word. Um, but yeah, it's no, uh, no biggie, and uh, I have to say, whenever the, the, the sun comes through and it, it shines on the moss, it lifts the moss, just makes it glow, 
Uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. I'm very disappointed in the water. The water is a lot lower than I, than I expected to be. It's been pretty dry, pretty dry winter. Um, there were some stories around here about this place being clean. Uh, there is some subsidence. I have to say there are some rocks over here that I don't recognize. It could be just because the water is just uh, lower than, it, than, I'm, than I'm used to. Uh, there's a couple of trees up here that have collapsed and fallen down. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's... Um, Let's see what else we can get here. filters off. I think it might be dark enough here. Uh, the only problem is if uh, you know, the sun comes in and just catches the waterfall and it throws all the exposure all over the place. Um, but I've taken off the filters and I've taken off the uh, and all I'm doing working with here now is the um, polarizing filter. Uh, you can make those colors pop or some I mean, you see it in the water, um, there's some fantastic oranges coming through in the water, that's the peat uh, coming off the hills, uh, and then the water, again, those things, uh, those fluorescent greens, and the, and, the, and the polarizers just making those really, really pop out, and uh, so literally all I'm doing is exposing for the foreground, over here for this water, which is giving me a nice exposure for everything here, but Behind that then, um, same as my last video, the trees are fine and then all of a sudden there's just blue sky. But at least there is blue sky this time, unlike the last time when there was absolutely nothing that I could bring back. And I'm just going to expose for those highlights in the background. I will just blend those two things together. But at least to say, we could have a blue sky this time. Um, that doesn't look too bad at all. Guys, I am I'm about to do something really, really stupid, and I'm hoping that uh, if you're looking at a photograph of a nice V-shaped rock and two waterfalls coming off it, that I have survived. So basically, I'll give you a look. I'm gonna go down here. It's extremely wet, uh, but I think I found an area where some logs that are jammed in between the rocks. Uh, I can stand safely. Very wet. I need to be quick and get the camera set up, get the tripod set up uh, and get this one done. I think it's dark enough. Um, so all I'm going to work with here is just the polarizing filter. Uh, get this shot. Um, oh. I hope it's worth it. Uh, if it is, then I hope you like your photograph. Okay guys, hope you can hear me. Uh, I've dragged myself in here. The only way I can get the shot is uh, I've extended one of the legs of the tripod. And I've now got the knee up against the, uh, the back of the tripod, trying to keep it as steady as I possibly can. Uh, I'll give you a little view of the of what I'm looking at. Uh, I mean, hope that this has been uh, worth the effort. I don't even know if you can actually hear me, I'm not just dropping myself here. Um, so, I'm basically focused uh, just here, focused there, and I've already taken the shot, guys, so this is, this is just a show, and then I just focus there. Just trying to get to the back sharpness. Um, I'm not overly really concerned about the dynamism. 
the dynamism of the water. It's going really, really quickly. I'm shooting at 120 a second, and I'm going to set a quick look here. There is enough movement in that water. I'm a happy bully. Uh, so, let's get out of here.